think it's a launch. Under normal circumstances, this should have been an occasion for celebration. Uh, we should have been holding a rally. Uh, we should have been uh, making sure that uh, there is culture, uh, there is joy, there is fun that accompany such an occasion. Uh, but given the extraordinary circumstances that we find ourselves in today, uh, we have limited uh, any public gatherings. And the purpose of this launch is indeed to share with the general public our social Greetings to you all. Thank you for following the launch of our party's manifesto. This manifesto is a manifesto for revolutionary change. It is a manifesto that will bring fundamental changes to our country and to our lives. It is a manifesto that will help increase the power of ordinary people to transform their country and thus transform themselves. It is a manifesto that will bring about growth in the appreciation of the people organizing, deciding, creating, and working together side by side like beavers. It is a manifesto that will help bring about the growth of fraternal love in our country. And this is the true meaning of revolutionary democracy. It is a manifesto about the construction of a just society. A society anchored on economic, social and political justice. It is a manifesto that will bring about equity in terms of access to education, by making education totally free from nursery at the age of three to university and compulsory from nursery to age 12. It is a manifesto that will bring about equity in terms of access to health services by making them totally free and fundamentally improving the quality. It is a manifesto that will bring about equity in terms of access to nutrition by investing in and heavily reorganizing this type of culture. It is a manifesto about jobs. Without being able to find work in an economy, one cannot truly benefit from it. It is a manifesto about peace. A society free from all sorts of economic, social, and political violence. It is about a society where we can all go to bed without fearing being cast. Yeah. It is a manifesto about jobs. It is a manifesto all this is not possible. They will tell you we are dreaming. They will tell you we are lying. They will tell you it can't be done. They will ask, where will the money for all these services come from? We know today what is happening in this country. They are buying motor vehicles at exorbitant prices. They are building roads times the average prices in the region. They are buying presidential jets. They are building toll gates at exorbitant prices. We can go on and on. The list is endless. They are not asking where the money is coming from because they are benefiting from the spending. They are getting part of the money into their pockets. Yes, money is needed, but money is not the starting point. Money isn't the thing is to establish the principles 
behind these free services? Why do we need free education? Why do we need free health services? A nation that is not well educated, a nation that is not health, cannot be efficient and effective and productive, cannot be competitive in today's world that is high technologically based. Our approach is that children are not born only to a father and a mother. They are born in a bigger family. They are born in a community. They are born in a nation. They belong to the family. They belong to the community. They belong to the nation. The mother and the father cannot deal with them as they wish or please because they are not theirs alone. They are ours collective. And as such, we must take responsibility for their education. We must take collective responsibility for their health. We must take collective responsibility for their nutrition and the other services they require to grow up as good human beings and responsible citizens. As for money, your socialist government will do what the individual households do when money is little, when money is short. Remove unnecessary expenditure. Remove ructures when the going is rough. The Socialist Party government will remove unnecessary expenditure to save money for the provision of free education and for the provision of free health services to our children and all our people. Those who have exploited you, those who have abused you, those who have marginalized you for years and their supporters are going to be telling you that everything in this manifesto is impossible. Because they don't want revolutionary change in your lives. They don't want revolutionary change in your country. And why should they? Everything is going on very well for them and their children. They have no problems with education. They have no problems with health services. Everything is going very, very well for them. But it's not going well for you. This manifesto is about addressing the distressing situation our young people who have to stop school because their parents have no money to pay the fees. Who have passed grade 12 but can't go to college can't attend university because they don't have money. This manifesto is about creating jobs for many of our young people who can't find work and earn a living. The trained teacher, the trained nurse, the trained clinic officer, the trained agriculture extension officer who can't be employed. This manifesto is about addressing the problems of the retirees who are not being paid their retirement benefits for years. While their leaders are paying themselves mid-term gratuities, while their leaders are getting their benefits before even the expiry of their terms of office, they are selling themselves expensive government vehicles or near to nothing. They have no shortage of money when it comes to their own benefits. But for the poor and the marginalized, there's no money. This manifesto is about saving the lives of our people who are ill. And instead of being given medicines at the hospitals, at the clinics, they are given prescriptions to go and buy medicines, to go and buy drugs from the pharmacies when they have no money. In the meantime, your leaders fly out for treatment at taxpayers' cost, at your cost. If things continue like this, what is your future? If things continue like this, what is the future for your children? 
What hope is there for a better life for you and your children and your children's children? Your incomes are not increasing. Jobs are being lost. Your businesses are failing. But the things you have to pay for are continually increasing. Mule prices are skyrocketing. Water, electricity, transport, school, medicines, clothes, rentals, and even the cost of borrowing from Kalova are all going up. This system, this order, is not working for you. It is working for them, but it's not working for you. That's why so many people today think all politicians are liars. That's why so many people today in this country think that all politicians are the same. They promise heaven, but they can't deliver even purgatory. They are there just to enrich themselves. This is understandable. You have been cheated. You have been betrayed by politicians. You have been betrayed by your leaders for too long to trust anyone. You are now giving up on politics and politicians. This is where this manifesto comes in to give hope. This is where this manifesto comes in to restore confidence by showing our people that this party, this manifesto is different. It is not any other party. It is not any other politician. It is not any other manifesto. It is a revolutionary party. It is a revolutionary manifesto to bring about revolutionary change in our country and in our lives. It is not about empty, false promises. It is about revolutionary democracy, deciding together, creating together, building together, and thereby increasing our people's confidence in themselves and in their future. This party is yours. The Socialist Party is yours. This manifesto is yours. And that's why in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming months, despite their differences and mock engagements, all of them will gang up against you. All of them will gang up against your party. All of them will gang up against your manifesto. If they thought we represented politics as usual, that, could not be, that we could not be compromised, that we could not be bought off, that nothing was really going to change, they wouldn't be so ferociously and violently against us. They know we mean business. They know we mean what we say. They know we are honest people. They know our chances of winning next year's elections are very high. They know we will deliver on our program. They know we will deliver on your program. They know we will deliver on our manifesto. They know we will deliver on your manifesto. They are not sleeping over this prospect. That's why they are throwing all their spanners in our wake denying us space to freely mobilize. They are very scared of the reverse and transformation of this country. They don't sleep over that. All sorts of unscrupulous elements today are pumping in a lot of money in the leading capitalist political parties of this country. They own them. They control them. But they don't own you. They don't control you. They don't own your party. They don't control your party, the Socialist Party. The humble workers, 
the humble peasants and the humble intellectuals of this country on the socialist party. When you are serious about revolutionary change and your chances of winning are high, those who are drawing gigantic benefits from the current system, from the current order, from this corrupt order, will mobilize against you. They will fight you to preserve their benefits. They will fight you to preserve their privileges. Clearly, this manifesto will usher in a different kind of society in Zambia. That's what our manifesto is all about. All that remains to realize it is your vote. Your vote is more powerful than all their money. Your vote is more, more powerful than all their money. So get your national registration card and register to vote for yourself. Register to vote for your future. Register to vote for your country. It can't be denied that for the great majority of our people, next year's elections will be offering a once in a generation chance of revolutionary change. We have a chance to end despair. We have a chance to end hopelessness. It gets dark sometimes, but the morning comes. Let us not give up. Let's not lose hope. With some effort, with some great effort, and the watch and the protection and the guidance of the spirits of our ancestors, of that courageous Ngoni warrior commander, Simba, we will triumph and make Zambia what it was meant to be, our paradise here on earth. The time has come for revolutionary change in Zambia. The time has come for revolutionary change in Zambia. Thank you very much. I love you all. And welcome once again to the launch of our party's manifesto. Thank you. subject for a lengthy process over the days to come. So our incoming president, Dr. Membe, and uh, the rest of the leadership and our party cadres will avail themselves over the next weeks for much more thematic and detailed discussions over the manifesto. So feel free to contact us. And uh, we have several comrades around here uh, whose contact numbers I guess you have, get in touch with them and uh, we will make time available so that we can discuss the details. There are a lot of details for this revolutionary transformation of Zambia and the delivery is through justice, through equity <coughs> and through peace. And again, thank you very much for your presence, thank you very much your participation in this process. Okay. So, we have copies for you, comrades. And these copies, if I'm not mistaken, have been signed, thanking me for attending the launch of uh, the manifesto. So, please, Take time to go through the documents, enjoy the reading. This is very, very rich informative information. Uh, 